Welcome to the October update for the Arkham Chronicle channels. What warm sunny weather we are having. October, eh? Guys, you sure you want me to do an October one? Right then. We've heard about a game called Keyforge. We, uh, we don't know anything about it right now, but it might feature on the channel in the future sometime. The third edition of Arkham Horror the Board Game, the product that started it all, will be releasing in November. Apparently there is a pre-order bonus like the Investigators of Arkham. We'll, we'll look into this and we'll definitely let you know more about it b before then. I don't think this is current information guys. We hope to have some more news soon about the upcoming <laughs> The Legend of the Five Rings game. Right, this is crazy. I'm not reading anymore. Hello champions, hello investigators and hello samurai. And hello archons we guess. What do you mean we're a bit late? Look, do you want us to make videos about why we're so bad at making videos, or do you want us to get on with making videos? Okay, okay. Welcome to the November update for the Arkham Critical Channels. Or November recap if you prefer. Today's background footage is a live feed of us verifying the token sizes for the Arkham Horror 3rd Edition board game. We don't know if you've noticed, but in November we tried to upload a video every day for 30 days. One of our chaps took a month off work and basically worked 9 to 5, 6 days a week, sometimes longer, to see what the maximum output we could produce is. We managed 24 out of 30, which was disappointing. Because we plan, script and edit our videos, they are extremely labour intensive. But that is the only kind of content we feel comfortable producing. It turns out we can't magic up more than one video per day, and our unboxing videos take about 5 days of filming and editing. For anyone new here, we have no plan for this channel and we have no clue what we're doing. This channel was in fact a bizarre accident which just won't die. Even when we retired for 6 months, people kept watching and subscribing. We just try stuff out and if it works we do more of it. So in November we added content for Keyforge and for the Arkham Horror board game, and both of those were spectacularly popular. We also experimented with a different type of video, that is the event video, where we try and give you all the information you need to either decide to go or make attending as stress free as possible. We did our annual interview with Alex Watkins from Asmodee, and we also had our second birthday, which coincidentally is the same day as the Arkham Horror TCG, for which we released a humorous video, which never does terribly well for us. If you are a birthday competition winner, we hope to post your goodies off this week. We are just waiting for the curse of the Rougarou to arrive from Asmodee. Oh, and there was an Arkham Knights UK, which we tried to help and support as much as we could. And if there's another one, we definitely won't do it as a day trip. On to individual games. We've been doing some video about the new Onslaught expansion, but in future we will only be able to cover new product launches like this. Plus maybe sleeves and playmats. The Champions Chronicle still exists and will remain there as a beginner's resource for anyone interested in finding out more about the game. Oh man, this is our greatest disappointment. This is technically its own channel and we only really get to make content for it in our free time. And as we have none, it remains abandoned and alone. We were hoping to bring someone on board to create RPG content for us, but that never really panned out. And we are gutted we have so many products uncovered. We did three videos on Arkham Knights, released the anniversary parody, covered the last Mythos pack in the Forgotten Age cycle and Guardians of the Abyss, and in October we released 11 videos for this game, which is almost three per week. No one else would be crazy enough to do that. We released two of the unfinished Path to Carcosa series, and although you can't see it, a significant amount of time has gone into the military base episode. Although the backer rewards are promised for next year, it would be nice to get some stuff out before Christmas. After about 3 months of asking, we did get a review copy, a week before release day, and we spent 5 days creating the mother of all unboxing videos. We are quite proud of it. In 2 years we have made more than 250 videos, and although this video is barely a month old, it is already our 15th most popular video. We didn't get a copy of the deluxe rulebook, so we undertook a 150 mile round trip and paid about 80 quid to get a copy, so we could make a video about it, which you will see in December hopefully. And we did get to make a video about sleeves and coin capsules, so that made some people around here very happy. We like Keyforge, but getting hold of product or art assets or anything for the game has been a nightmare. Expect a few more videos on it, but we don't have time or support to devote to regular content, sadly. Heroes of Terranoth was one game we were requested to cover, and we definitely wanted to, but the lack of review copy, the different UK and US release dates, and how busy we were with Arkham Knights meant this hasn't happened. The game all of us played most at Arkham Knights was Mansions of Madness, and we loved it! Because it only has 4 expansions, we were thinking of making a series of unboxings for it, plus any associated sleeve and coin capsule videos. What do you think? Let us know! 
It was amazing to collaborate with the Twisted Tentacle Inn on our All Purple All The Time series, and he did a fantastic job with his Father Mateo deck. With The Circle Undone being released next, we will need another collaborator to make a Purple Investigator. Let us know if you have any suggestions, although we might have someone in mind. We would like to do another in the series of single colour investigators, so if you have any ideas which colour class we should tackle next, let us know. Finally, we were deeply honoured to be invited to take part in the Blackest Friday community event organised by the Twisted Tentacle Inn YouTube channel. Please do consider participating in our Arkham International video request. That's it for another month, or two, or more. As always, let us know what you want or think in the comments below, and look out for the December channel update. Maybe in the summer sometime. Goodbye!